Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to be testing out a new haptic feedback accessory from ProTube called the Pro Evolver. Now, this is a haptic feedback pistol which provides recoil feedback, which is perfect for VR first person shooters. Now, the Pro Volvo was primarily designed for arcades, along with military and law enforcement training applications. However, it will be available to consumers in the future. Now, sadly, I don't have any firm details on costs, but just be warned, this is likely going to be pricey. If you're interested in one, contact the team at ProTube. Their website is linked in the description down below. Full disclosure, I was provided this kit for free to check out on the channel. However, I'm not paid by ProTube and I wasn't required to make a video about it. I just like sharing this stuff as I personally think it's really cool. And I like that ProTube are continuing to innovate with haptic feedback technology in virtual reality. Because as we all know from my previous testing with this kind of kit, a little bit of feedback can make a big difference to your VR experience. So in this video, I'll be going over the specs of the Pro Volver, and then I'll be testing it out in some games such as Gun Club on the Oculus Quest, along with Pistol Whip and Half-Life Alex on the Oculus Rift S. I'll be talking more about my thoughts on the accessory at the end of the video. Timestamps are in the description down below as always. I hope you guys and girls are all keeping well and safe and enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we get into the gameplay, let me run through the specs of the new Pro Volver. Now, just like ProTube's other VR accessories, the Pro Volver is made using high quality and robust 3D printed materials. The device weighs roughly around 900 grams with the Oculus Touch controller installed. And to put this into perspective, it weighs almost the same as a fully loaded Glock 17 handgun, making it ideal for training situations. The device can be held using a single hand, just like a traditional firearm, or in a double grip configuration with the included attachment at the front, which you can remove if you wish. Inside the Provolver are two 3.7 volt, 2500 milliamp hour batteries, which should provide over six hours of playtime, and these can be recharged using the USB-C port underneath the device, which is located next to the power and pairing button. The batteries power rumble and recoil motors housed inside the unit. The recoil motor kick provides around 60 newtons of force feedback. The Pro Volver uses Bluetooth to communicate with the Oculus Quest or your PC, which makes pairing and setup really simple. At the moment, the Pro Volver supports controllers for Oculus Rift S, Oculus Quest, Valve Index and HTC Vive, with possible Windows MR support coming in the future. Now let's get into the testing of the Provolver with some games. First up is Gun Club on the Oculus Quest. And the really cool thing about this experience is that Gun Club has implemented the Provolver drivers into the game itself. So setup was super simple. All I needed to do was pair the Provolver to the Oculus Quest using the Bluetooth pairing setting in the Quest's main menu and simply load up the game. I played predominantly one-handed whilst using the other hand to reload my handgun. Now when playing like this, you really start to realize how heavy this thing is, but the weight provides a realistic sensation of what a real gun would roughly feel like. The recoil provided by the Pro Volvo was on point and perfectly in sync with the gameplay, and it made blasting targets in Gun Club really, really fun. However, having had some limited experience with real firearms in the past, I can say that the recoil isn't anywhere near as powerful as a real firearm, but just enough to add to the gameplay experience and make you feel more connected to the virtual world. Now onto the next game, which is the Steam VR version of Pistol Whip using the Oculus Rift S. Now this game doesn't natively support the Pro Volver, however ProTube have made a nifty compatibility tool on PC to get it working with unsupported games. All I needed to do was pair the Provolver to the PC using Bluetooth and then fire up the ProTube compatibility tool which has presets for some popular games including Pistol Whip. I was actually surprised how well the Provolver worked with Pistol Whip and I would say it was the best game experience I had using this accessory. Despite not being natively supported, it worked flawlessly and you would have thought the support had been baked in by the developers of the game themselves. As Pistol Whip only requires the use of one controller, gripping the Pro Volvo with both hands felt the most natural out of all the games I tested. 
Another thing I noticed was that adding this accessory to Pistol Whip makes the game even more of a workout. You're constantly squatting and dodging incoming enemy fire in this game, and adding a 900 gram weight to your hands makes the experience even more challenging. If you own a VR arcade and Pistol Whip is part of your lineup, you should definitely consider one of these as your customers will really love the experience. And finally, I tested the Provolver with the awesome and recently released Half-Life Alex. Again, just like Pistol Whip, Half-Life Alex doesn't natively support the Provolver, so I used the compatibility tool again. However, this time, the results were a bit more hit and miss. Blasting antlions with the pistol and the shotgun felt great with the added kick of the Provolver, but the rumble and kick effects were also activated simply when opening doors or reloading weapons, which didn't feel so natural. Also, accessing the buttons on the controller face whilst holding the Provolver grip in one hand was sometimes tricky due to my baby-sized hands, and it made switching weapons in-game much more cumbersome. At this point, I've been playing with this accessory in VR for a solid couple of hours, and I was really starting to get tired in my arms, so I wouldn't say this is an accessory for your everyday VR gamer. Overall, I think it's a really fun accessory to play around with, and perfect for adding a little something extra to a VR arcade or training scenario. Personally, using the Provolver is the only way I want to play Pistol Whip or Gun Club moving forward in the future, but I can't see me using it in any other games right now. Okay, so there we have it. That's the Provolver recoil gun accessory from ProTube. Now, just like the Force Tube rifle gun stock from ProTube, which I've tested previously on the channel, using the Provolver to add haptic feedback to your VR games adds another layer of immersion as you feel more connected to the game that you're playing. Kind of reminds me of playing those classic light gun games as a kid, like Time Crisis and House of the Dead 2 in the arcades, as they had those awesome recoil light guns, which made the experience of playing those games even better. It's the same with this kit as well. As we don't have any official aim controller like the PSVR for example, accessories like this from ProTube are the closest thing we can get right now. Fun fact is that Oculus were actually planning to make their own VR gun accessory back in the day, which was detailed in the book called History of the Future by Blake J. Harris. Totally recommend you go check it out by the way. But sadly, this project was later scrapped after the acquisition from Facebook. But I digress. Here's my conclusion on the Provolver. I would compare it to a Desert Eagle. It's huge, it's heavy, and it packs a punch, but ultimately you wouldn't want to use it every day. I think it's ideal for VR arcades, and as a training aid, and although fun at home, it's just not as practical as their previous full rifle gun stock, the Force Tube, which was much more comfortable for regular use and perfect for games like Contractors and Onward. With that said though, it's clear that ProTube are continuing to improve the technology by adding an integrated battery, USB-C for charging, and a more discreet power and pairing button. I'm sure in no time we'll see a second generation Force Tube using some of this new tech that ProTube have put into the Provolver. But let me know what you think of the Provolver in the comments down below. Do you like the look of this accessory? Or do you think you'll be strong enough to wield this beast in your regular pistol whip sessions? I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you liked the video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content, and as always, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.